Hello guys, so today we're going to be talking about Pulse X and the buy and burn mechanism. This is something that everyone is excited about. So we're going to take a look at some numbers that I think are pretty interesting to look at. Now, if we go to CryptoFees.info, we can see that Uniswap in the past day has had at $812,000 worth of fees paid. And for the past seven days, the average daily fees that Uniswap is getting is $1.2 million. So at 800000 it's a bad day for Uniswap. Uh, the average of the week has been $1.2 million. Now, this is a day. This is fees generated a day. And I don't know about you, but I, do you know of any business, any protocol that generates this amount of income? Uh, I don't think there's any that I know of, right? Now, just a quick side note. Uh, you can see here as well, GMX is another protocol, that's, but it's generating 400000 a day. Now, this is a trading protocol. It's a leverage trading protocol. So I think this is something interesting to know as well, which, which protocols are the protocols that generate the most income out there. Another protocol is Aave. And we do know that there's a fork of Aave that just deployed on Ethereum, which is built for, for, for Pulse Chain, which is um, Fiat. It just deployed. And I think I'll be taking a look at it. I haven't really done a deep dive into it. I'll be taking a look at it in the next few days. But looking at this number for Uniswap and considering that, that Pulse X has a buy and burn mechanism, I think it's something that's pretty exciting that could show you that if you have, let's say, 25% of those fees being used to buy and burn, that's about uh, over a quarter a million a day of buy pressure. That is incredible. Imagine $250,000 a day worth of buy pressure. That is a lot. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is regarding the buy and burn. If we take a look at Pulse Chain News on uh, on Twitter, they're telling us that already 3.4 billion Pulse X has been burned on V3. 42 million wallets created, 130 million transactions, 52. So it's showing you the demand that's there for Pulse Chain right now. That people just are, the expectations are extremely, extremely high. So the potential for gains here on this blockchain, on Pulse Chain, are going to be huge. So I think that this is a time to, yeah, I do know that we've had a little bit of more, it might take a little bit more time for us to launch, but I think that as we are launching this year, I think at least the first half of the year. So it's exciting to know that we are in a, in, in an ecosystem where we're going to potentially make massive, massive amounts of, uh, of gains. The tokenomics are well designed. The projects that are being built are projects that have good product market fit already. So I think that the the we are in the right ecosystem right now. Now, I would have wanted this to have happened <laughs> two years ago <laughs> or maybe even a year ago, but it is what it is. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. And remember, guys, subscribe, guys, and please smash up that like button. Smash up that like button. I saw someone in the comments was making fun of this whole audio setup thing. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll show you what it looks like, what it really looks like. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.